Hi, Keith Wilson here, and welcome to yet another of my video tutorials. Now, this one is totally impromptu. Uh, the majority of my videos are planned well in advance and structured um, to give you the best opportunity to really get great value and actually implement what I'm teaching you. But this particular video, as I say, is totally off the cuff and in response to what seems to be an influx of problems. Now, whether that's to do with the current economy um, or could just be totally coincidental, I don't know. But it's something that I keep coming across um, with many, many businesses. And it's in relation to adding images to document templates. Um, as I said, I, I don't know whether there's, a, there's an influx of people creating mail campaigns uh, to try and generate some business or whatever the reason, um, but I keep coming across the same query. And the query really relates to the speed in which the mail merge process is happening. And typically, when I look into it, it's generally the same reason. And that's because the user has not actually embedded the image into the template in the correct manner. Maybe you've come across this before in your own business. Well, what I aim to do within this very brief video is show you the pitfalls and the ways in which many people add images to document templates. And then obviously, as with all of my videos, then show you the correct way and also along the way explain why certain processes happen and the implications of you doing things in the incorrect way. So let's get started. I'm going to quickly create a brand new document template. Now I'm not going to go through the whole of the document template creation procedure because I already cover that in one of my other tutorials. This is totally unrelated to any other videos and will only focus on adding images to templates and the best way to do that. So from the right menu, we choose new letter stroke email template. Now I'm integrating with Word, but in the same fashion, you could be using exactly the same process here using the Act Word processor. I'm not going to add any Act mail merge fields because I don't need to, to show you exactly what I need to do here. Okay, so this is the typical way that users embed images into templates. And incidentally, this is the wrong way, but I just want to show you the implications of doing it the wrong way. So let me just bring up an image that I've actually got within my system. Just viewing this in Microsoft Paint. And if I bring the size down, I'm viewing that at 12.5%. So you can actually see it's still quite a vibrant, high clarity image. And there you'll see at the bottom, it's actually 5,000 by 5,000 pixels big. And the actual file size is 3.8 megabytes. So this is typically what people do. Select the image and proceed to copy that image to the Windows clipboard. Okay, let's close that down. And now we'll paste that image into our template. And I'm just going to resize the image now that it's brought that into the template. So what I've done there, I've probably reduced the size down by about half just within the template. Now, one very, very important point here. Just because I've reduced the size of the image within the template has not had any impact whatsoever on the size of that image being embedded into the template. Now that is very, very important as I'm going to show you shortly. Okay, so I'm just going to save that. And I'm going to call it test with pasted image and save. And let's just close that down. And there we don't save changes. Okay, back into Act. Now, as I said, 
just shown you the most common process that users go through to get those images embedded into their templates. Now that was the incorrect way to do that process. I'm going to show you the correct process now. However, there is a slight variation on it, which again, you must be fully aware of because it hugely impacts the size of the template. 